Adriana Edwards and Kazim Gibbons. They're both right here. Pushing each other, challenging, challenging each other. Pegasus. In lane seven, Tiana Appuet of Rising Stars. In lane six, Layla Hint, Elite Distance Program. In lane five, Shania Thomas of Quantum Leap. In lane, in lane four, Darielle Tate of UE Blackbirds. And in lane two, Sapphire Stevens of Velocity Management. Stevens, Daria Tate, Shania Thomas, Layla Hinge, Tiana Appowit, and Kiara Hunt. Miss Jordan, are you sending another one to the Layla Hinge making up the early stagger on Tiana Appowit. Daria Tate, the beauty blackbirds, when it is.
up on the track will be our sprint hurdles. Girls. Let's turn them on, ladies and gentlemen. That's Sarah Bell, Annika Blackman. Oh, Sarah Bell. Over Annika Block. That's a good one. school, Shajari Franklin. Three competitors, the boys on the 18, 110 meter hurdle. Jordan in lane number three. Seems to be the, he's the unofficial winner. Give him a round of applause, please. 
give all three of them a round of applause. The boys on the 18, 110 meter hurdles. The 110 meter hurdles. The finals of the 110 meter hurdles. There's one under 20 competitor, and then there are three men. I don't see the under 20 competitor at all. Which means there are only three men. So you may see even better. Easier. Easier to call. Ladies and gentlemen, in lane number four, competing unattached. They're still preparing, so give us a He's also this year a Commonwealth Games finalist in this very event, the 110 meter hurdles. Please welcome competing unattached Shane Brathwaite. Player <laughs> number five, competing unattached Reese Phillips. The lane number six is a Caribbean Games silver medalist in the 110 meter hurdles. He was also a World Junior Championship finalist in this event, the 110 meter hurdles. Please welcome representing Rising Stars, Michael Nichols. winner of the men's 110 meter hurdles. Give him a round of applause, please. All of them. gentlemen, please give a round of applause to Shane Brathwick, the 2018 national champion at the 110 meter hurdles. His time, 13.62, qualifies him for both the CAC Games and the NACAC Championship. The qualifying standard is 13.65, his time, 13.62. Stretch to go with 250 meters to run. Shadow World of the HPP. 200 meters to run and Shadow World of the HPP. She's taking control. 
Just about 150 meters to go. Shadow World is Shannon Jones. Shadow World. And have them up the stretch, ladies and gentlemen. Give them a round of applause here. Two competitors. Shadow World and Shannon Jones. Give them a round of applause. Two competitors only. But doing a good job. Shadow World. Give a round of applause, the girls on the 18, 400 meters. gentlemen this is the final of the boys on the 18 400 meter dash boys on the 18 400 meter final this is a good one please welcome in lane number eight representing rising stars marquez cadogan in lane number seven also representing the rising stars track club michael patrick in lane number six representing performers track club Miguel Nicholas. In lane number five, representing the UE Blackbirds, Jade Yearwood. In lane number four, representing the Pistols Track Club, Raheem Tate Beth. In lane number three, representing Pistols as well, Akil Howell. In lane number two, representing the UE Blackbirds, Aquan Wade. And in lane number one, representing Rising Stars, Savian Hoyt. 400 meters under 18 boys, all the lanes. Well, it's a good competition, except number two, sorry. first hundred meters. Let's see how they're going to shape up here going down the back straight. They're starting to increase the pace. Looks like Raheem take best there with the, uh, a very upfront and upright stance coming around the 200 men. However, the athlete from Rising Stars looks like Michael Patrick running well. Here comes Jade Yearwood of the UE Blackbirds. Oh, it is all Jay Yearwood though. Raheem take best and Jay Yearwood. champion, national champion, Jade Yearwood, what a run! And his supporters are keeping a lot of noise there. Oh, drama.
Class is class, form is temporary here. We're gonna see how that goes. Because running out of lane number eight in this big final is Akilah Knight representing the EDP. Can they hear? Let them hear you, ladies and gentlemen. Big final. Asia Foster represents Quantum Leap. She runs in lane number seven. Carifta silver medalist two years ago, ladies and gentlemen. Last year, I should say. Tiana Bowen unattached. Jaria Hoyt runs for Quantum Leap. She's in lane five. World Youth Silver Medalist, ladies and gentlemen, at the 400 meter hurdles. Tia Adanabel and Olympian as well, running in lane four for a quantum leap. Lisa Ann Burrow, unattached, runs in lane number three. Representing the San Diego State, too. All right. We also have running in lane number two, Rosette Hoyt of Freedom Striders. And a representative of Barbados at the recent Carifta Games, representing Quantum Leap, Rhea Hoyt. Get your cameras out, ladies and gentlemen. Start to record. Over to you, Mr. Starter. for this big final. It looks like Tia Adana Bell, oh, I'm sorry, that's Tiana Bowen running out there early, early running. However, look at the old lady, Lisa Ann Paro. Paro has taken them all out already. Tia Adana Bell will have a lot of running to do and she's starting to do that now with 200 meters to go. It is Paro and Bell. Baro and Bell, who has the heart, who has the stamina, who has the strength here? It looks all like Lisa and Baro pushing for home, running a cracker jacker of a race. It's all Lisa and Baro. Baro and Bell, it is all Baro. Watch the clock, watch the clock. Good running from Baro. Bell in second, Bowen in third. Once again, if you placed first, second, or third, once again, athletes, please pay attention. If you placed first, second, or third in the 1500 meters for men, in the 100 meters hurdles for women, in the 110 meter hurdle for men, and the shot put for women, if you placed First, second, or third, we need you in the photo finish area immediately. Thank you. Well, this is the B final, which is going to be a very good final as well for these men. No lane five, but we have seven talented young men here. Running for Pacers Track Club in lane number eight is Shaquan Seeley. Lane seven, Andre Callender, rising stars. Lane six, Shane Thorne, Pacers Shot Club. Lane four, Theo Greenwich of Freedom Striders. Lane three, Kimar Nogrove, unattached. Lane two, Shem Boyce, Pacers Shot Club. And lane number one, also representing Pacers Shot Club, Michael Hurley. So out of the seven athletes, four are being represented by Pacers. Over to you, Mr. Starter.
The card is red. And there is you. <laughs> Sometimes it could be good news or bad news. And now that it has been raised, that is lane number three, Kimar Noru. So once again the field, Hurley, Boyce, Greenwich, Thorne, Calendar, Seeley. Once again, we are under the starter's orders. Could we have some silence, please? We have a good start now. Looking like uh, Shane Thorne, I think. A Pacers shot club. With about 200 meters to go, Calendar challenging. Andre Calendar running hard, running strong from Rising Stars. Shane Thorne, here comes um, Still looks like Calendar On the inside of him is Thorne Is it going to be a close finish? Calendar Calendar, he's going to hold on, yes Calendar from Theo Greenwich, I think, from Rising Stars This is the final, the men's final, 400 meters. Oh, ho. In lane eight is Delano Wickham Pacers Track Club. Lane seven, Yannick Murray representing St. Vincent. Lane six, Carl Gale, Quantum Leap. Lane five, also representing St. Vincent, is Akani Slater. Lane four, Anderson Devonish, Velocity Management. Lane number three, representing Elite Distance, Jonathan Jones. His teammate also representing Elite Distance is in lane number two, Tafari Bishop, and running in lane number one, uh, representing the Yui Blackbirds, Davor Griffith. This is the final for the 400 meters for men. Over to you, Mr. Sarnan. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, I don't just mean here in our main stand, but all around the Veldrodome, we can actually hear you. Uh, the Veldrodome. Listen. 
<laughs> but we need absolute silence, please. Start. If they know, all of them know they have to run hard. Devinish is running a very good race early. Look at Devinish. He's running a very good race. Who else is going to make up the run in here? Jones is trying to run through now. Look at Jonathan Jones making a very good run. It is Jonathan Jones, but Devinish isn't done yet. Boyer. Look at Devinish run. Devinish and Jones. Jones has passed Devinish. Jones and Devinish. Those people need to. Devinish and Jones. Here comes Devinish. Or Jones. best from Jonathan Jones there, 46.64. However, ladies and gentlemen, we are had a very difficult time, believe it or not, calling that race because we are trying to keep the meat up to a certain standard and level. That's why we paid for those barricades. They are there for a reason. And we wouldn't want you, you young men just don't got very close to that trap. And we really don't want that. So I'm trying. In lane number three, Jalea Dat Denny. Lane four, Deshana Padmore, Velocity Management. Lane five, Karima Griffith, Princess Margaret Secondary. Lane 6, Kiara Waif, Rising Stars. Lane 7, Serena Rochester of Rising Stars. Those are the finalists for the girls under 18, 100 meter dash. start on the 18 girls running Danny looks very good coming down the street here this looks like Julia Danny coming back to form look at Danny run beautiful run from Danny 12.49 beautiful run Julia Danny Christchurch Foundation School running in lane number one is Jason Bess of St. George Secondary lane two Delano Williams of Rising Stars lane three Akiomi Ross of uh, BC Trap. Lane four, Mikael Carvalho running unattached. Quantum Leap's Nathan Ruet is running in lane five. John Pierre Hines of UE Blackbirds is running in six. 
Shaquane Daniel of Princess Margaret is running in lane seven, and Daquan Haynes is running in lane eight. final for the men please do not go over those barricades we have Tia Innes in lane number two representing any distance Raquela Fagan in lane number three representing the Christchurch Foundation School Hannah Connell Lane four, representing Rising Stars, Shamaya O'Dane. Running out of lane number five is Ashley Lowe. She represents EDP. In lane six, we have Kelia Smith, unattached. Lane seven is represented by, sorry, it's lane seven, we have HPP being represented by Akela Morris. And also representing the HPP in lane 8 is Asha K. Finals of the final of the women's 100 meter dash. We have a good start here for the women's final. Low is a bit laid out. Shamaya, look at Hannah Connell! And Shamaya O'Dane! 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 Slams the field! Oh! After having a little 
official with the start, Shamaya O'Day. That's a very good time, not a bad time from O'Day though. 11.81, we're gonna see what the win is gonna be. Negative win too, negative win. I think that may be a personal best for Odin too. 11.81. Good running. And after the drama with the start to come back and win. Final of the men's 100 meters. Just to go through those times very quickly. World Junior Championship time is 10.45. CAC time 10.40, NACA time 10.38, national record set in the year of 1998 on the 11th of uh, September. That time is 9.87, set by Obadali Thompson. Running out of lane number one is Kenton Brown of Rising Stars. Lane number two, Jamil Walker Miller, Pacers Shot Club. Lane 3, Josiah Atkins running unattached. Lane 4, Matthew Clark unattached. Lane 5, Aaron Worrell. He's representing Quantum Leap. Lane 6, unattached is Jabari Cumberbatch. Lane 7, Tremaine Smith, Velocity Management. And uh, running out of lane number eight for the HPP is Tamal Atwell. Over to you, Mr. Cox. start for the B final. Coming down the straightaway. Let's see how they're shaping up here. Very close. Yeah, looks like Matthew Clark edged. Josiah Atkins. My naked eye is telling me that, but that doesn't judge the final result. But it looks like Clark from Atkins there. Oh, lovely picture, Mr. Bess. It's Matthew Clark. athletes here running in lane number one Kimar Cumberbatch of Velocity Management lane two Kuran Griffith of UE Blackbirds lane three Ramon Gittings of Rising Stars lane four Jaquan Hoy of Velocity management lane five the reigning national champion mario burt of hpp lane six burt hart ellis jr representing quantum leap lane seven charles graves representing the pacers track club and in lane number eight, Joshua Walker, representing the Barbados Defense Force Sports Program. Before you start, Mr. Starter, those persons once again in front of that barricade by the long jump area, I'm asking you to get behind that barricade, number one, and also number two, 
do not go close to the track. Yeah. Mr. Cox, over to you. and Hoy, and Hoy had a lot of making up to do, but Giddens was leading the race for at least 55 meters or so. We're asking Bert, Hoy, and Giddens when you collect your, your track tops and bottoms, please report to the photo finish area along with those women as well which is Ordain, Cave and Connell. <laughs> Evaluation is very serious here. 